What's going on, VIP Gang? Welcome back to the VIP Now, where we like to talk about those things that add value, make an impact, and bring purpose to you. Today, let's talk about how to deal with rejection. you do understand that it's not a nice feeling. In my opinion, it's actually quite disturbing if you ask me. It's really painful, oh my gosh. Such a horrible experience. I've been there, I've done that, and I'm here to share with you my coping methods. So to start off on number one, Control your emotions. Learn to manage how you feel about your ex or your crush. One thing that you should know and remember is that you're not the first or the last to be rejected, right? Secondly, the person that has blatantly told you that they're not interested in you or however they reject you. Remember that they have also been rejected. Most probably they have gone through rejection also. So don't beat yourself up or rather don't beat yourself down thinking there's something wrong with you. Don't get angry at life. Don't get angry at that person. When or if you meet this person, your ex or your crush, do not indicate any kind of emotion. Just try to act normal. Act as natural as possible. Some of us get really excited to see that person despite being rejected. And some of us get angry, we instantly boil, we get nervous, you know, we get outraged just by seeing that person, people are like, why did you not give me a chance, or why do we have to end things, right? Act natural, just be nice, and don't be rude. Number two, focus on your dreams and your your mission in life, right? If you have something that you're really passionate about, it could be starting a business, it could be pursuing music or YouTube like me, then put more of your energy to that. That will distract you from thinking about your ex or your crush your whomever rejected you, yeah? And why is it important for you to focus on your dreams and your mission in life? The next time, you're gonna get over this question one way or another. If you don't, that's that. But if you do, high chances are you will get over that person and move on. So the reason why I'm saying focus on your dreams and your mission in life is you are preparing yourself for the next best person. Like I said in the first one, control your emotions because what if God is communicating something to you? You think you deserve that person, that person is meant to be in your life. But as I said in my previous video, God has a very unique and special way of working in our life and communicating with us. So be grateful. If it didn't work out, it didn't work out. The next person who's gonna come through is gonna see how motivated you are, how driven you are, and how focused 
if you are, you're going to see somebody who is stable, somebody who is determined to glow up, get their bag up, and do what they love. That's what we're attracted to the next best person. Number three, insist in yourself more. What I mean by this literally is take care of yourself, indulge yourself in self care, self love. This could be getting your mani- manicure, pedicure. If you ask a mani, take time to go to the spa. If you don't, learn how to do it on your own. If it's a skill that you've been wanting or meaning to learn, be it on YouTube or other facilities, it could be cooking, baking, sewing, uh, what else? Playing football, playing in, uh, a musical instrument, it could be just having your, your hygiene. Just taking care of yourself and loving yourself, paying more attention to yourself is good for your physical and mental well-being, even your spiritual. If you just got most of your time gloating over your ears for your crack, this is the time to just make time to invest in the Bible if you're going to have one. Go to church, things like that. Just engage yourself in things that make you feel good, things that get you out of your rejection funk or state of limbo, right? And what else? Yeah, get you some nice clothes, put on some makeup if you like it, spray your favorite fragrance, and sleep, sleep well, don't waste your time thinking about someone who's entertaining somebody else and living their best life, get some rest, just have time to yourself, number four, meet new people and socialize, you never know, among those people that you meet, could be the love of your life, it's really fun to meet new people and hang out with people, learning to interact with other people other than people that hurt you or rejected you. I'm, I'm speaking from experience. I had a really social 2022. I met so many people. Number five, I think this has to be one of the most important point for me minimize or cut off completely minimize or cut off interaction with your ex or your crush completely because that will help you to move on faster that will teach you not to hold on to this person because it's not healthy it's really not healthy for you to be stuck on this person. You need to remember that life is short and you deserve to be around people that actually care about you. People that want you around. This is going to be wasting your time texting and calling and stalking this person on social media or in their neighborhood or wherever then you're not doing yourself a favor, you're actually taking several steps backwards instead of taking steps forward and doing what's good for your soul, for your spirit, for your mind, for your body, even. That is it for this video. If you have anything else to add on to my list on how to deal with rejection, please do this a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and if you also enjoyed this video, like as well. I really enjoy interacting with you guys, so if you are a returning subscriber, please do 
and comment down with the red rose emoji. I will really, really appreciate it if you do that. I will see you guys next time. I like it deep. Again, I like it deep. Bye. Thanks for watching.